Good morning everyone, today we're going to be looking at the Slayer class, we're going to be looking at their skill tree, their add-on skills, and whether it's worth playing it as a subclass or not. But before we jump into all of that, if you're new to the channel, I upload NGS content daily, so if you do play this game, I would really appreciate a subscribe, as it really helps out the channel. Anyway, without further ado, let's begin the video. So the very first thing I want to go over is, of course, the add-on skills. And as we can see here, the main effect for the Slayer add-on skill is down critical hit rate up. So this means whenever you break an enemy, cause a physical down or an elemental down, you'll get increased critical chance during those periods, which means you're going to be able to deal additional damage. This is going to be very, very useful, especially for your photon blasts. You know every time that you down Dark Falls Aegis, during that small window, you want to pump out as much DPS as you can in order to get the DPS skip. Well, now with the Slayer add-on skill, you're going to be able to do it more consistently. Now remember, add-on skills do not require you to have the class as a main class or a subclass. Add-on skills are just free stats that apply to your entire account and all of your characters. So it's very, very useful to have all of these add-on skills at level 20, which is the maximum level, so that you just get free stats. However, we also need to look at the Slayer skill tree over here, and there's actually quite a few interesting skills over here, such as Critical Up. So this, I'm assuming, just increases our critical hit rate. Now you can put 15 points into this. I'm going to assume that each point is going to give you 1% critical hit rate. So if you put 15 points in it, it should increase your critical hit chance by 15%. That is what I am guessing. However, of course, I don't have anything to uh, base this off. This is just an estimation on my part. Now it doesn't end there. There's also Gallant Attack Critical Up, as well as Critical Hit PP Gain. Personally, I think the Critical Hit PP Gain is going to be freaking amazing. Because basically, if you have a crit build out there, and you have a lot of critical hit rate, you have a fix of Vital 5, etc., you're going to be able to crit pretty often. And by having 5 points in critical hit PP gain, this might be good enough to give up the 4 subclass. Because I know a lot of people are rocking 4 subclass, myself included, because of the PP regeneration. So constantly getting photon power so that you can deal additional damage. Well, now if you get critical hit rate PP gain, 5 points in this, maybe for each crit you recover a certain amount of photon power it might be better. So this is definitely something I'm going to be looking into. I'm going to be testing this because I really want to have Slayer as my subclass because of the critical hit rate up because I just want more crits and I've always wanted to do a crit build. However, of course, we have to look at Gallant Attack Critical Up. I don't really know what this is. It could be based off the number of enemies you defeat it increases your critical hit rate or it could be you gain additional critical hit rate or critical hit damage against specific enemy types. I don't really know Know what this is but it does have something to do with critical hit rate and the reason why i'm so confident it has something to do with critical chance is because the critical chance symbol looks like this little star everything with this little star symbol is associated with critical chance so uh, as you can see here you know this one is critical chance increase this one is pp gain whenever you hit crits and then this has a little monster and a little critical hit chance symbol on top of it so i'm guessing it's just increased critical hit chance based on monsters you defeat or or against a specific monster type, and that is my train of thought. However, if you look at the stats over here, that's only 20 skill points. We have a lot more than 20 skill points. As you can see here at the bottom of this person's screen, they have 47 skill points. And this is exactly the same amount of skill points that we have currently on the live servers. So I'm guessing we're not getting any new cocoons with this update. But that means if we spend 30 skill points over here getting our critical up, our gallant attack critical up, as well as our critical hit PP gain, we still have 17 additional skill points which you can apply to other skills. Now as for all of the other abilities in the skill tree over here, I think they are all going to be associated with either the Gunblade or Slayer main class only. So something that's been bothering me for quite some time after looking at this skill tree over here is that I don't see the special ability optimization. So if we look over here at my Braver skill tree, we have the special ability optimization which allows me to convert my melee potency into range potency and range potency into melee potency depending on which one's higher. And this is very very useful especially for Braver players because that way you can switch between the bow as well as your katana and you don't need to rebuild everything or you don't need it to compromise with 
weird augments. So this is a very, very nice ability. Now, special ability optimization is not exclusive to the Braver class. The Bouncer class also has this. If we look over here, again, special ability optimization Bouncer, which allows us to exchange our tech potency into melee potency and melee potency into tech potency, again, depending on what is higher. However, if we look at the Slayer skill tree over here, unfortunately, I don't see that symbol where you're able to exchange your potencies, nor do I see special ability optimization. You can see in the video, they even scroll down over here. And again, you do not see the special ability optimization, which leads me to believe that the Slayer class is going to be an exclusive range class. So it's not going to be like the Bouncer, not going to be like the Braver, where you can mix and match different potencies because they have different weapon types. I think the Gunblade, even though it has two different modes of range as well as melee, is just going to scale off range potency and nothing else because it doesn't have that special ability optimization skill in the skill tree. So with all of that being said, what do I think about the Slayer class? I think the Slayer class is going to be a freaking awesome class. It's going to be amazing. A lot of people are going to enjoy it. However, I don't think it's going to be an easy class to play. I think it's going to be a simple class to pick up and learn. However, it's definitely going to be one of those classes which are going to be a lot more difficult to master because of the special directional input photon arts. So that's based off like what direction you're moving and you cast a photon art, it's going to do a different effect. I think that is going to take a little bit of time for people to wrap their heads around because it's a unique mechanic that no other class in NGS has right now. So it's definitely going to take a little bit of time to adjust to learn how to do it properly. But other than that, I think the class is going to be super fun because it's all about speed. It's based around mobility and fast paced gameplay. And of course, a lot about critical chance and critical hits, which is something that a lot of people, myself included, have been begging for since day one. So I'm very happy that we're finally getting a class like that. And on top of that, I'm also going to be testing it as a subclass because for my Braver mains out there, I'm still pretty loyal to the Braver class. I really enjoy the Katana Braver. And I don't think the introduction of the Slayer class is going to change my mind anytime soon, but I definitely want to try the Slayer as my subclass in order to boost my critical hit rate so that I can hit more of those juicy crits and just deal more damage overall. Special thanks to all the members for supporting the channel, it really means a lot to me. Thank you again. But yeah, that's all I wanted to cover in today's video, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, I would appreciate a like and a subscribe, and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye!